welcome to TWF Dynamite or Mike. I am Jim Ross here with, with here with you Lois and with Aiden. Here with Aiden English. And today on Friday and today on Friday and today on Dynamite or Mike. We're gonna see that we're gonna see the TWF team winnings on the line. Held by Jimmy and Jay Uso, or brother, brothers, and they seem to think they're the greatest team out there, since they have been the WWE SmackDown team fighter since August of last year, and they've been the WWE Smack the WWE Raw team fighters, well, since we would say June or so, or at least May. Well, here they come now, Jim Ross said. Well, I can tell you one thing, you know, it said they talk about how they say they're the ones, they're the greatest and everything. Well, yeah, they may have won the TW, they may have won the WWE SmackDown team, <coughs> SmackDown team winnings. At least they may have won at least seven times. And they may have become a three-time WWE Raw team fighters. But it's still a fucking belief that they're the greatest team out there. Well, I can tell you one thing, Wade Barrett said, the Young Bucks seem to believe they're the greatest team out there, but they are never going to wrestle them or fight them, so their fodder belief of themselves, whatever it's going to be. Oh, Wade Barrett says. All right. Here's what, here's how it's going to be like. Since we know there ain't no good enough teams out there to beat us, and since we know we're unbeatable, and there's no one else in the world to beat us, we just have an open dare for any team that thinks they can beat us. Ah, <coughs> Jimmy Uso says. Well, at the end of the day, Jay Uso says, I don't think there's going to be any team that's going to is going to truly beat us. Well, that might be where they might be where they're wrong, Jim Ross said, because here comes Mario and Luigi, the over Mario brothers. So, you're still saying you still think you're greater than all of us? Uh, Mario said, "Is that what you're still going around saying? You still seem to think you're the greatest of all the teams out there that ever wrestled." <clears throat> and you have this belief that being a seven-time WWE SmackDown Team Fighters and three-time WWE Raw Team Fighters somehow makes that truth, makes that false truth then. Well, it does not. You see, you like to go around over-kicking everyone. What's up with that, Mario says. Yeah, Luigi says, I think I know why... James and Jason brother like to overkick everyone is that they're doing to outdo the young bucks which always go around overkicking everyone in all their matches isn't that right I mean can't be showed off showed up by some smaller less well less known team in AEW right am I right we overkick folks, James Uso said, Jason Uso says, because it helps us win matches. And, James Uso says, we're not the first team to ever going around overkicking anyone. The young bucks, or the young shits that we like to call them, think they're the only team who's ever overkicked everyone. But then, again, there in AEW, and AEW sucks. But I'll tell you right now, since you're the over Mario Brothers, Jason Uso says, what's truly over about you? Nothing, James Uso says. There's nothing over about the over Mario Brothers. That's not even their true name. I mean, it's a lie. That was the name of your waterwork business, was it not? It wasn't your kin name, or your lord name, or whatever they call it. I mean, Disney couldn't give you good names. Yeah, that might be true, Astronomer says. Disney didn't give them 
didn't give them a didn't give them a kin name except call them Mario Mario Luigi Mario but I'll tell you what at least that's more good than being called Uso what's that a Samoan borrow word is that a Hawaiian borrow word a Mari borrowed word oh I know the English word for that borrowed word is brother why can't you just call yourself James and Jason brother anyway I don't really care about that truth is what I care about is here today on Dynamite or Might you put on your TWF team winnings on stake against Mario and Luigi the over Mario Brothers and just to let you know that match happens now Astronomer says so you can go around you can do your over kicks just like the young bucks do you know and you can tell everybody how you can go put your fingers up in the sky and say you're the one but with that that's your fodder belief of yourself Eclipse or says and great for you if you believe that it took you how many years to get that belief in yourself and you've been wrestling for how long years let's do the match yeah you're right he said Ecliptor you're right it took Jason and James Jason and James brother years to truly believe in themselves and their skills and their craft you know too bad they gotta be underlings to their near kin Roman Reigns you know instead of being their own men I don't really care oh sorry about that it's all right well we just heard from Astronoma or Corone that we're gonna have it's gonna be Mario and Luigi the over Mario Brothers fighting Jason and James Uso or the brothers for the TWF team winnings and this is for the TWF come on stand up right this is for the come on this is for the TWF team winnings first they are Mario and Luigi and they are the TWF team fighters James and Jason and James Uso or brothers Meaning, well, let's see who's going to go first. Well, how can you tell uh, James, Jason, and James from each other? Well, that's how Jim Ross says. Well, uh, one, there is kind of a way you can tell one from the other. One's a little more bigger than the other. That's all I know. You know, it'll give them one thing. At least they don't pull the whole twin which which shifting that most you know look alike twin brothers do Mario got, got taken down by Jane by Jason Uso or Jason brother uh, Jim Ross said how do you think they would be if they were in AEW well first off Wade Barrett said don't even ask that Jim Ross first off they wouldn't be called they couldn't call them Jason and James brother anymore they had to go by their true names whatever their true names would be and also at the end of the day if they were an AW Jim Ross which they're not the Young Bucks wouldn't like it because these wrestlers have been doing over kicking in their matches as many years as they've been doing it and we are the oh well Mario Brought in, strikes in Luigi, Jim Ross said. Mario, uh, Luigi, taking down Jay Sinuso. And now he brings in James Uso now, who just took out Luigi now. So now it's no longer fair anymore, is it? And there goes that overkicking shit they like to do, Jim Ross says. You know they're no they're they're over kicking folks like the young bucks do. Jim Ross says, "Yeah, Elo said like they're the only team that's ever done it." And now James Uso just missed it, and Ma Luigi took him down. And both of them came from Ollies. Don't forget that these are Ollies by came from Ollies. 
Jim Ross says. Yeah, and the Mario Brothers came from from five and below, Way Barrett says. Don't forget about that, Jim Ross. Well, Elois says, Mario just brought, got Luigi in again. And I don't know why he was doing there. Mario coming back in. Jason, James brought in Jason back in. And Jason just, oh. Oh. And I think this is over here. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winners. And still, the TWF team fighters, Jason and James, the Usos, or the brothers. Well, at the end of the day, Mario and Luigi Mario, or whatever their kin name is, were un unskilled, uncrafted, or un were unskilled to be to win back the TWF team winnings for the third time from Jason and James the brothers. Jim Ross says. And another thing Wade Barrett said, you need to say you're sorry, Jim Ross, for saying they should be an AEW. Or even asking how they would have been he's an asking how they what their ring names would be or what they would be doing if they went to AEW. You need to forgive this for that, Jim Ross. And the, why I told you what they you couldn't call them the Usos anymore, Jim Ross, because that would be your mistake. Well, I can tell you one thing, wait, I can tell you one thing, Lois says. I'll tell you one thing. This is one, it was one hell, of a, one hell of a match. I mean, Mario and Luigi, the over Mario brothers, have always been a good team. Hell, they're former two-time TWF team fighters, you know. And we do know what James and Jason Uso bring. They've been at least a six. They've been seven-time WWE SmackDown team fighters, and three-time WWE Raw team fighter team fighters. Elois says. Well, at the end of the day, Jim Ross says. Look, I am truly sorry for asking what they would be doing or what their renames would be if they were in AEW. Yeah, Jim Ross, because you're in AEW now. So you would go around and ask that. But now we got someone who has never went to any other wrestling business. He been in WWE. He been in WWE, WWE, F, WWE, E. WWF, WWF, and if he was still alive, he'd still he'd be in WWE still, and that would be Gorilla Monsoon. Yes, I am Gorilla Mon. Yes, Jim, I'm here with Girl Monsoon, and I'm gonna be talking with the over with the over Mario Brothers, Mario and Louis, no, with Jason and James Uso. I know you folks like to I know you folks like to go around and say you're the one, but you're only the one until you am up losing. Gorilla Monsoon, we've had a lot of on look for you. You've had a lot of on look for our kin for years. But when you become a seven time WWE SmackDown team fighter and a free time WWE Raw team fighters and you bring those two winnings into one, you become the one. And we just beat the over Mario Brothers, Mario and Luigi, the over Mario Brothers. Don't get us wrong. We got a lot of on look from Mario and Luigi. They've been in so many film games over the years. It's nice and funny. But at the end of the day, we still beat them. And we're still the TWF team fighters. Yeah. And we do know one thing, Roman Reigns going to be happy with us. Yes, Roman Reigns, the kin leader, the head of the board, the world heavyweight fighter, the, the, the hip heavyweight fighter, the overlord, the highest leader, the over, <coughs> the overlord, the highest leader, the overling, the king, the kaiser, the highest leader, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, he'd be happy. But sooner or later, 
like I just told Jason, I'm going to tell you, James. Sooner or later, another team will come along and beat you. And when that is, I don't know when. You can't be unbeaten forever. Well, that's our talk with Jason and James Uso, or the brothers. Back to you, Jim Ross. Well, thank you, Gorilla Monsoon, for talking with Jimmy and Jason Uso here today on Dynamite or Might. And it is all the time we got here for Dynamite or Might. I am Jim Ross for Elois and Wade Barrett. We hope you like Dynamite or Might, and we'll see you tomorrow for Impact on XS TV or Smash and Inside Farseer.